For a man who stole a police cruiser and then led officers on a high speed chase last Friday, Tyler Tibbetts is now going nowhere fast. He went before a judge in Bangor. And News Center Maine's Jackie Mundry is at the courthouse with more on what happened. Jackie. Cindy, I'm at the Penobscot County Courthouse where Tyler Tibbetts was arraigned this afternoon. He has a lengthy criminal history and is being held without bail on previous charges. But for the charges in Thursday's high speed chase, there's quite a history, Your Honor. Tyler Tibbetts' lengthy criminal history was laid out clearly here in court. He was out on parole when he was arrested Friday and stole a police cruiser. He led people, um, uh, law enforcement that also include the Maine State Police, on um, two. Uh, very dangerous, very significant high speed chases. The first chase was in that Dexter police cruiser after he climbed into the front seat while still handcuffed. Because the cruiser had a camera inside. We were able to see it on, uh, on video. It was an extraordinary, it's an 11 by an 11 opening is extraordinarily small. You know, wildest dreams they would uh, be able to think that an adult could get through that, an adult male. The second chase was in a second stolen car. Um, they just happened to have the uh, keys in it. Um, this car was not provided to him by anybody. There wasn't anybody else in the car. There was not a third car involved in that. He was alone in the car, but he did attempt to get some help to get his handcuffs removed. That didn't happen. The whole ordeal created a public safety concern for Dexter and surrounding communities. It created a very significant public safety issue for anybody who was driving on the roads. Um, at some point, even a car was uh, forced off the road. Really a great deal of, uh, of harm. There were children out. This happened during the day. Anybody could have been out, you know, biking or walking or out on the streets at that time. Tibbetts will appear in Piscataquis County in next month and then back here at Penobscot in July. Cindy? All right, Jackie, thank you.